Oh, Tip of your tongue. Not like that. Tip of your tongue. The word you cannot remember is collage. You had all the pieces cut from a newspaper, project on paper, glue. Though you knew you knew it, the word escaped you. The way I always have to pause before I say filing cabinet and aquarium. Fourth generation in a family that loses words. Who will hold you when you cannot speak her name the way I held you when you were too small to speak your own? Cold, sweet, acrobat, who will bring you milkshakes? City, summer, after Rowan Ricardo Phillips. If it begins like this, how does it end? The abandoned city in the reverberating belly of a world tied down and quaking, staked at the corners, waiting in wait in the heat, like a lover told to stay very still. Like a lover told to stay very still in heat, waiting in wait staked at the corners and quaking in the belly, tied down in the reverberating slumber of the city. How does it begin if it ends like this? <laughs> the heels make me much taller than I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Unfinished, thanks. Unfinished lover. I like to sleep on the bottom two-thirds of my bed, as though my dreams need extra room to dance above my head. <laughs> Once in an unexpected while, the memory, of he, the memory of him slips out from behind the door locked long ago. It wants to stretch its legs and fill its lungs with air. Trigger unknown, he is in my head, furthering our broken narrative. Some of the dream is true. We are both married, we are not staying long. We are young and beautiful. His skin is still soft. His kisses sweet. The attraction unapologetic and it ends with leaving. When I wake, as it always was, I don't want him to go. I don't want him to stay. I just want to know how to find him again. <laughs> A little luck. My son tells me he's unlucky. Not in the big kind of way, in the small, he says, middle child body buried in blankets. It was finally my turn to climb the rope, and then Jim was over. I'm unlucky like that. My quiet soul, rule follower, believes he's stuck at the bottom of the rope, looking up. I draw him to the curve of my body. Show me. I say, taking his hand from under his chin, how you will climb to the top of the rope when it's your turn. I extend his arm full reach and let go. He pauses, hand suspended, then slowly climbs, fist over fist, to the invisible rope, to the ceiling, sky, moon. Yes, when it's your turn, that's how you'll do it. He faces me, nestles his head on my shoulder, tired from climbing in the dark. <laughs> Where am I at? Got uh, one minute. Perfect. AM. I like my body best in the morning, when it has had eight hours to become itself again, and all that had been button squeezed into jeans melts back into the loose, unwrinkled softness it was born to be. <laughs> Old Bones, this is as close to a love song, a uh, love poem as I get. Old Bones, we will grow fat together. Old too, perhaps, but most certainly fat. You will bald and I will sag and we will creak instead of talk, a porch swing at sunset. Years from now when archeologists carbon date our bones, they will discover whole our ancient 
promises. Thank you so much.